He's been described by Steven Spielberg as the best actor in the world. Today, Pete Postlethwaite has come to a House of Commons meeting with MPs, press and campaigners to test the impact of the new climate blockbuster, The Age of Stupid. into the future. More than half the ski resorts in Europe could shut down in the next 50 years because of global warming. So we won't be able to go skiing. Big deal. But the thing is, it's not that, is it? That's the whole point. The fact that you can't go skiing anymore or, you know, that the glasses are melting is not really the point. The point is that that's a signal that basically the Earth is destabilising and all the, all the norms that have allowed life to you know, exist as it, as, it, as it has done, uh, are changing. Strange watching these film fragments. It's like looking through binoculars, observing people on a far off beach, running around in circles, fixated on the small area of sand under their feet as a tsunami races towards the shore. They're so distant from me. I can't wave my arms or raise my voice. I can't warn them. Uh, stunned, I think, to pack that much information, detail and fact into a film that is exciting, moving, keeps you engaged all the way through, is phenomenal. It's an extraordinary achievement. I said to a guy over there I've just been talking to from Friends of the Earth, doing an interview with him, and I said, it's Spielberg, eat your heart out, that first 10 minutes. And he said to me that he'd been talking to Franny before she finished the film and said, what's it going to be like? She said, it's going to be like Spielberg on speed. And we, not, we hadn't made that connection, but I saw that opening sequence is phenomenal, I think. It's absolutely brilliant. And it keeps you riveted all the way through. I think the way she ties up the stories towards the end. The use of the archivist is a brilliant touch um, because given the, the depth and the size of the facts that you're looking at, somehow or other that human element, that person who is looking directly at you and who's obviously affected by it himself, is like a mirror to the audience. And I think they need that. I think they look at it and go, I agree with him, and I think, I found it very moving. I think she's done an extraordinary job with it. I think it was about 2000 when I started to get really involved with what was happening uh, personally and globally. Um, I think it's only in the last two or three years that I've really seriously thought we've got to do something about this. Uh, that's why I had no hesitation when the call came through to do something like this. Although, I must admit, I thought it was just a voiceover to start with. I didn't realise that it was on screen as well. But then you just go with that, you just go, OK. Uh, I think it'll make people think. I think it'll make people debate. I think it'll freshen their memories if they don't already know about, you know, what the hell's going on. Um, that's all you can do. I don't think it's preachy in any way. It doesn't, it's not polemic, it's not actually saying no, 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 it's, um, I think it's strong, I think it'll make people think, I, you know, I think people will be moved by it, I hope they'll be moved. 